First of all, just give us, I guess, your top line views as to demand and the prospects when it comes to renewable energy. Sure. Um, well, renewable energy in general obviously has a great track record. It's the cheapest energy on earth at this moment. But uh, hydrogen and green fuels are expected to be a multi-trillion dollar market by 2050. So I, I think the demand is quite high. So we're hearing that you're expecting a major project announcement from the government. Can you give us an idea of what we're expecting here? Well, the WA government has supported us all along. We received major project status uh, over two years ago. Um, they just announced that we had 15 gigawatts of the first um, production approved, and we will, and they support our expansion to 26 gigawatts. Um, we have submitted the, the uh, proposal to the EPA for the 26 gigawatts, and that's been announced, and we are hoping to have an announcement from the federal government with major projects at us soon. So how much capital will that require in terms of investment, and are you confident that you'll be able to get enough support from the private sector? We are absolutely confident. I, I'm sure you've noticed the green capital is lined up around the block. Um, and it makes a lot of sense because they're in charge of our financial futures. They're investing for our, our, our pension funds and our retirement funds. And in order for the, our financial future to be there, we need to have a future. Um, so it's really important that they move to green investments. And, and the industry has realized that. So there is a lot of capital interested. So we have seen, because of that, uh, pilot projects becoming very common around the world. But how many of your developments are close to operation, or, or how much progress have you made? Well, we've made a lot of progress. Um, the 15 gigawatts and the 26 gigawatt expansion are, are huge milestones. 26 gigawatts will make us the largest power plant in the world. Uh, just to put that in context, that's larger than the three biggest nuclear uh, plant facilities. So um, we, are, we are pushing along with development, and the rest of the intercontinental energy portfolio is also just a couple steps behind this lead project. Um, so I, I think we are making great progress with long-term projects. These, these projects will produce for generations to come. And one of the things that's most exciting, unlike an oil and gas project, uh, the resource never depletes. So we'll be around forever. Alicia, what's the timeline at this point for exports? Uh, exporting is expected for AREH um, before 2030, um, probably around 2028. Uh, how much input do you expect or want from the private sector and how much more government funding will be required? Are you confident that there'll be enough private sector interest in these sorts of projects? We're currently not counting on uh, any government support, although we would appreciate it. I think a lot of these markets have pushed forward be with subsidies or with government support of some type. Um, obviously, having more than 175 countries signed up to Paris, having more than 60 countries that have agreed to zero carbon, um, and seven countries with specific hydrogen roadmaps, that's going to be helpful to push uh, this industry forward. And we would like to see that type of support from governments around the world. Um, that, that will really help us to expand this sector and to drive this inevitable energy transition.